Hello and welcome! In this video, I'm going to be playing a little bit of Castlevania for the Nintendo Entertainment System. I have very fond memories of this game. Uh, when I was a little kid, I remember going over to my friend's house and he was playing this game. They have, you know, and that's the first time that I saw this game. I, you know, I remember just being blown away. This is probably the first, like, horror-themed game that I had ever seen in my life. And I loved horror-themed stuff ever since I was a tiny, tiny little kid. It was just amazing to me, you know, like the, uh... The fact that you were, that you were versing against, you know, like, monsters and shit. I thought that was awesome. This opening screen says it all. Like, total badass. This game was huge when it came out. People loved this game. Now, I made a game on its uh, arcade counterpart, but I come to find out this game came out first. And the, the, whatever the hell it was, Haunted Castle came out after it. And this exact game was actually also in the arcades, in a machine. Castlevania to this day still has a huge cult following. Now, I never knew what these creatures were supposed to be. I think they're supposed to either be ghouls or zombies. Then you got the black cat. Believe is a leopard. Simon Belmont. Like what is that? That that I don't know. It's a ghoul or it's a zombie. I don't know. I remember as a kid having a hell of a time with the stairs. You know, and then I think I remember reading in a Nintendo Power magazine as a kid and first learning about the wall meat. Delicious wall meat. Ah, uh, the finest of the meats. I did not own this game as a small child. It wasn't until I got older and bought it. I owned uh, Castlevania 2. Played the hell out of Castlevania 2 as a kid. It is one of my favorite Castlevania games to this day. You know, I know it's uh, it's more frowned upon, but I love that game. Yeah, and then I didn't even know about Dracula's Curse until I was way older. You know, probably uh, sometime in the middle of the uh, Super Nintendo's lifespan did I learn about Dracula 3. Or should I say, I played it. You know, I'm sure I probably saw it at Blockbuster, but... At the time, another, you know, a different game caught my eye or this or that, and I never tried it. I almost died there. Where are you going, asshole? <laughs> A 
love the graphics to this day. You know, this is one of those retro games that has just aged wonderfully. Uh, they, you know, they re-released it on, uh, well, on all the on all the systems and shit. And I, I purchased that collection too, but I'm playing this one on a ROM. You know, a good ROM. I mean, it's it looks fantastic. Controls are dead on. And you know, I'm not gonna play through this whole game or nothing. I was just taking a look at it, you know, make a video on it, and talk about my experience with Castlevania. Yeah, I, uh, I didn't play one for Super Nintendo. I think I rented the Sega Genesis one. You know, I didn't really get into it too much. I didn't get back into Castlevania until, uh, uh, the N64 games. Now, I owned the first... Well, actually, I owned both of them. But I played the shit out of the first one for N64. I thought that was awesome. I mean, the game definitely had its problems. But in general, I thought it was a good game, and I loved the first boss. You know, that gigantic skeleton was cool as fuck. And shit. Cock sucking Medusa heads. I should also point out I am no pro at this game. I have beat I beat it once. Yeah. I ain't no Castlevania master, that's for damn sure. The fuck is this Oh. The fancy glowing box went away. Was quite fancy looking. Hey, I think Castlevania 2 is fucking awesome. I'm gonna make a video on that one of these days. That's just, uh... I know I heard it was an unfinished game, but I kind of liked the fact that there... It seemed like more empty. I don't know. It had a certain feel to it. I loved going into the mansions and, you know, like, everything was just dark and there was a bunch of fucking, uh, bastard. Everything was dark and a bunch of corpses hanging from fucking chains and shit. It had a great atmosphere to it. time I played a Castlevania game was maybe for the original Xbox? Maybe PlayStation 2? Uh, you know. None very memorable. Those were the, the 3D ones. 
which, you know, they, they were okay. And then for Xbox 360, they released that, uh... Ah, God, I don't know what the fuck it was called, but it was online. You know, it, it was online. I, I actually believe I played some of it. Or maybe I didn't play some of it. I can't remember if I made a video on it or not. If I did make a video on it, it was when I did, uh... The indie games for 360. Where I basically played through all my 360 games. I can't fucking remember. But that game was awesome. Can't remember the fucking name to it. It was online. It was, uh, four players at a time, I believe. And the game was just... You know, it was done in retro graphics, and it was... It was fucking amazing. Absolutely fucking amazing. And I actually purchased the download content where I got to play as this sprite, uh, Simon Belmont. Awesome fucking game. And I should point out the, uh... The games for... Game Boy Advance, too. Those were badass games. I played all of those. Oh, what am I talking about? Fucking PlayStation. Uh, Symphony of the Night. Badass game. I loved that game. So I'm all over the place here. Uh, Castlevania's good. And I wish they would make some more retro-styled games for Castlevania. Konami, you're sucking. You are sucking big ass and you need to fucking do something. Stop sitting on your franchises with your thumb up your ass and start fucking doing something. You used to be an amazing company. You can be an amazing company again if you get your head out of your fucking assholes. Medusa! Almost ran out of time there. <laughs> I'm sitting here talking and shit. Medusa head dead. But yeah, I was a huge fucking fan of Konami. I, well, I still am. I just wish they'd fucking do something. Uh... Silent Hill is fucking amazing. I love Silent Hill. Now, I've always been a Resident Evil fan. You know, like, I I enjoy Resident Evil games far and beyond Silent Hill, but Silent Hill has always been a... Uh, definitely a second favorite of that genre of type of games. You know, like, it's... I'd love to see a new Silent Hill game. You know, I enjoy Metal Gear games. Uh, you know, it's, uh... I, you know, I, I don't really care if they make a new one of that. We, we've already gotten some pretty good content out of those. You know, maybe a couple years down the road. Fucking shit. Yeah, you know, I, I like Metal Gear series, but I, I'm not... You know, I'm not crazy about it or nothing. God damn it. And I'm sure I'm forgetting shit, but... Uh, for the most part, they need to goddamn release Castlevania. A new retro Castlevania, not a... Not a fucking 3D one. Unless you're gonna do it good. And then a fantastic new Silent Hill game. You know, and maybe not try to do too much. Make a fucking good game. And then, after that's a success, then do an experiment. Don't experiment with the shit. Stick to the... You know, stick to uh, the roots of Silent Hill if you're going to release a new game. Make the fans remember why they like Silent Hill. And then try new stuff. 
You son of a bitch! That bird was a son of a bitch. Love this music. Ooh, you fucker. That skeleton was a fucker. A lot of assholes, sons of bitches, and fuckers around here. And little bastards. Probably a couple Jagoffs, too. Shit! Alright, that... That was my fuck-up. That'll about do it for this video. I just wanted to talk about uh, Castlevania a little bit. And talk about how Konami's fucking slacking. Slacking up a damn storm. Get your shit together, Konami. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, please hit that subscribe button and have yourselves a great day.